Hey everyone, it's James at dreamweavertutorial.co.uk and I'm going to go over the basics of bullet list images. Now I did cover a tutorial which is slightly more advanced, so I'm going to do the basics now. This is how you can uh, put bullet list images in the perfect world so that they perfectly line up. Um, and we do this by using um, bullet list images that are smaller than the text in general. So I'll be going over that now. Now that was just an example, obviously you're not going to want your bullet list to be that big, but it shows you that no matter what the size is of the text, the bullet list will always stay in the middle. So I've got an arrow, um, a, an image of an arrow which we can use as our bullet list, It's I think it's 15 by 14 in uh, dimensions. So I'm just going to create a blank HTML page, there's no download with this tutorial, um, just press create once you've got your HTML page and we're going to build an unordered list. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a wrapper div to wrap around it. So I'm going to type in div ID wrapper and end the div with a closing tag and put a small comment in so that it's the end of the wrapper div. Okay, the next thing we need to do is create an unordered list. So I am going to type in a UL tag like this and I'm going to close it as well and then I'm going to split it in the middle so that we can put our list items in, the LI tags. Okay, so I'll put in four LI tags. So that's um, open brackets, LI, close brackets, open bracket, slash li and close bracket okay so it's four and we're going to populate it with a list um, and the list we're going to put I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to put in a list of favorite TV shows um, some now and some in the past so um, it will go up to the first li tag and I'm going to type in lost for the first one Knight Rider for the second one harking back to my childhood and uh, the A team and finally prison break okay that's just to populate the list and uh, when I press refresh you'll see that they appear there now the first thing we're going to do is create a CSS rule so I'm going to click inside the unordered list tag and then click on the new CSS rule and we're going to target a new style sheet the wrapper the UL the unordered list inside the wrapper now I'm going to save inside the CSS uh, folder that I created earlier and uh, you can you can save it into the root folder if you want to I'm just going to call it bullets okay so once I've clicked save I'm going to click OK because we're going to go inside the code and uh, click on bullets.css which is located next to the source code and uh, we're going to go into the CSS I'm going to split the tag and we're going to take out the list that the default list style images so I'm going to go into the middle of the UL and type list dash style colon none semicolon and press refresh you'll notice that they disappear now so they're gone that's brilliant and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a new selector for the li tags so we're going to type in pound wrapper the ul li so the li inside the unordered list inside the div called wrapper and uh, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to change the font size to 14 pixels and uh, it drops down in size but I'm going to make it the font family Verdana and that will jump it up in size and I like the line height you get with Verdana because it spreads it out just that little bit okay the next thing to do now is to put in the background list image so I'm going to type in background dash image colon and I'm going to browse for the arrow. Now you can just type in background colon, it will do the same thing, you can still browse for the image. I like to type background image. Um, okay, so I'm selecting the arrow and I'm going to put a semicolon on the end and you'll notice it will repeat along the x-axis and along the y if it has to. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the repeat out, so background dash repeat colon and no repeats. We don't want it to repeat on the x or the y. Now as it's a background image it should show behind the text so we're just going to adjust the positioning and I'm going to set it to centre and left. Now it's going to go as far left as possible and if you watch it will just drop down. I'm going to put the semicolon on the end to the centre of the text there. Okay so the next thing I need to do is to bring it away from the text and we don't want it to sit behind obviously so we're going to set the padding to the left so we're going to type in padding dash left colon and I'm going to set 25 pixels padding and put a semicolon. Press refresh and there you go. So we positioned our uh, bullet list images there. 
Okay, now now it's positioned to the center. If we change the font pixel to 12 pixels, you'll notice that it, it follows. The image follows the text. Same as if I change it to 20 pixels, you'll see that it spreads out also, and that bullet list image is right in the center of that text as well. And the same if I put in 50 pixels, you'll notice that it's always going to be in the center because the background position is set to always center. So I'm going to reduce it back down to 12 pixels now. And we'll go back in the source code and I'm going to put in page breaks between all of the list tags, all of the li tags, just to spread it out and press refresh and you'll see that it all spreads out with um, the default page break there. So having a look in um, Firefox, you can see it looks quite nice. Okay, let's go back into the CSS. Now I want to show you about the background positioning. Um, now if I took the left out and just positioned it center, you'll notice that the um, the bullet list images go to the very center of that div. So they're always going to position themselves like that. Now if I type in right, you'll see it goes to the very far end of that div. So it's always good to remember that when you're positioning, uh, to know exactly why you're positioning it to the left. Now alternatively, um, if we can put in a, a position of 50%, it will center it uh, using um, sort of the liquid state at 50% of the div. So this will be along the x-axis. Now to position on the y-axis we can also set that to 50% of the text. So 50-50, it will be 50 on the x-axis and 50% on the y-axis. Now because we're using bullet list images we want to position that to the left. We don't want 50% um, in the center of the div. So I'm going to put in left and 50% and you'll see it positions it exactly the same way as before. Right, just to show you that it still works, uh, I'm going to bump up the font size to 100 pixels and you'll see that the bullet list stays exactly in the center of that text. Okay, let's preview that in Firefox. Brilliant. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. This is James from dreammovetutorial.co.uk.